Okay, six o'clock here in Sweden, and we all know what that means. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, I see there's people on YouTube on and Facebook waiting. Uh, so very welcome to all of you, already from both Sweden, France, and uh, the US. Hello, uh, Birgitta, Bob, and Bruno. Uh, some of the usual suspects, that's nice to see you. I uh, hope there'll be more joining. If there are people watching uh, for the first time, so this is my weekly Hammond stream, always on Saturdays at 6 p.m. Central European time, 9 a.m. Pacific and noon Eastern. I think it's 1 a.m. in Tokyo, in case you would be there. And you, I'd be very glad if you would uh, drop a line in the chat, let me know where, where you are watching. It's really nice to know. Uh, there's usually quite... Uh, you're usually quite spread out uh, uh, around the world, and, and that's uh, it's really interesting to, to hear. And uh, this is going live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and VK.com. Uh, and uh, there's uh, so I'm gonna start playing. I'm gonna be start playing in just a little while, but uh, just so you know that. Um, so there's a virtual tip jar. There should be information about this region in the screen. And you are most welcome to donate something to the tip jar. Uh, it's what makes these streams uh, possible. Much needed, much appreciated. So uh, if you have the means, please consider making a donation. Uh, okay, and uh, so the theme, like the theme for today, this is really a... So today we're having a party, because uh, today, April 24th, is the, the day in 1934 when Lawrence Hammond filed the patent for the Hammond organ. So, like, this is the foundation for what, like, the reason I'm sitting here today with this magnificent instrument. And you, you, you can see uh, that I have... Uh, if you look at the back of the organ, I removed the, that piece that usually covers it. And we're going to get back to that in a moment, because it's, this is such a fascinating uh, machinery, a piece of machinery. And I do want to take the opportunity to uh, show you a little more from it as well. So, and uh, with that theme, I thought I'd, like, this is just, the, today is just the, to the honor of the Hammond organ. I'm just going to be playing uh, you know my favorite, uh, my favorite songs, and show you, uh, like I want to show you some different sides of the instrument. Well, what I mostly do, I think. But but anyway, uh, the, today is about uh, celebrating and having fun. I hope you will. I know I will. Uh, okay, so I will just. Uh, uh, I'll just read some of the comments. Okay, I see they're returning um, uh, Dana Ledger from New Orleans, Pascal. And, uh, oh, great, Gunilla. And uh, Drew, hello. And Antonio, wow. From Frankfurt and from Louisiana and Toby, of course. Ah, thank you, Toby. Thank you for, uh, yes, I thought I'd go gold today. Uh, since it's a celebration, we're hang having a party, so it's all gold today. Yes. <laughs> uh, Toby Simmons is my co-host. She uh, is in Encino, California. And she you'll see her in the chat. And she has a great uh, page called Toby's Calendar of Upcoming uh, Events. And she knows the best streaming concerts on, uh, on uh, the internet. So, so check her out to, to get more uh, great streaming content. So with that, I think I will start with, I think the, the first piece of uh, organ jazz that I ever heard, and it was at a concert that I attended uh, in my late teens, and uh, the first thing I heard was, the, and this, was this trio playing, and then they played uh, Jimmy Smith Blues. Of course, what else? And uh, this is a, a, this is a, this is a song that I've played all, often as a starter tune. Uh, so I thought I'd start with that also today. Nice way to get, get, uh, get started. It's called Blues for Jay. Blues for Jay by Jimmy Smith. And very welcome to all of you. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, Blues for Jay by Jimmy Smith. And with that, I actually, I wanted to start to play something, but actually now it's, uh, I'm gonna do a bit about, the, it's gonna be an episode of Show and Tell, because I've, uh, I have set up another camera, so I'm just gonna switch views and uh, uh, walk or go, go around here. Okay, so here is the uh, here's the inside of a uh, Hammond organ, a Hammond B3 organ. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's usually a, a, a sight. You, you know, it's it's such a magnificent piece of uh, machinery. Uh, the, con the the construction is just marvelous, and it's usually the best part of trick in the world to uh, you know open this up and show this to people. Not on every party, of course, but uh, some special parties. Uh, so I'm just gonna, you know, I, I thought I'd just show you around a little and maybe if there's any, and then I'm gonna play, be playing more of course, and, but if there's uh, any questions, we might go back here and I, I can show you some more things. But just shortly, what you see here in front, this is a pre-amplifier, this is the last stage before the sound leaves the organ. But what you see here, back here, behind, is a, uh, a box of, uh, that has 91 uh, metal wheels with, uh, uh, that are spinning and they have uh, teeth and they're spinning in front of electromagnets. So the number of teeth uh, passing the electromagnetic, uh, electromagnet per second uh, creates one tone of a certain frequency. And so you have all the 91 tones that are available. Uh, and this is like the, this is the heart of the organ. This is like the, uh, the, the that, that's like the, the fundamental construction of this whole thing. And you have a motor that's running these. Uh, and I'm just gonna put the mic there and you can hear how it spins. So, uh, and uh, yeah, I think I'll, and then you have some other stuff here. I don't, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna uh, spend too much time now uh, telling about it, but if there's something specifically you're wondering about, maybe I can tell you later. But uh, I'm gonna go back and play something more. So, uh, so that's the uh, Hammond, uh, the inside of uh, Hammond B3. And because of those spinning wheels, I thought it'd be a great uh, uh, reason to play uh, Spinning Wheel by Blood, Sweat and Tears. So I'll do that. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, so uh, I've been, actually I've been meaning to to play that song for a while now. It's been on my, you know, it's been one been on my list for potential stream songs. Uh, but and today when I when I realized I'd be talking about s actual spinning wheels, I I, uh, I felt okay. This today I have to do it. So. Uh, Nice, and I'm glad I did. I hope you are too. Uh, I also thought I'd be playing uh, some of uh, some Hammond classics, uh, or maybe yeah, at least the one, the the, the next one, is definitely one of uh, you know the one of always one of the first songs that come up when you speak about. Hammond sound and, and uh, Hammond Hammond organ, regardless of genre, uh, almost. And I thought I'd I thought I'd do uh, Procol Harum's A Wider Shade of Pale, because you have to at some point when you're doing Hammond streams, at some point you got to do it. And why not today when we're celebrating the actual instrument that made it possible? So uh, I'll play A Wider Shade of Pale.
Yeah, it, it's, it is a, a, a beautiful song. Uh, it really is. Uh, and it, it's, I think for, for many, for most, it, it, uh, brings up, uh, it brings up some feeling you have. You, I think almost everyone has a, some kind of relation to it. You've heard it someplace. And uh, uh, yeah, so it's, it brings out some kind of emotion. And that's, and that's nice. Uh, I love that. Okay, hello, Julie Bruno from Tampa, hello. Patrick from Swedish Hammond, hello. Wow, thank you so much, yes. From Argentina, wow, that's nice. I think the first, uh, first uh, viewer from Argentina that, uh, uh, that I know of. So, very welcome to you. Uh, great, okay. So now I thought I'd do something... Uh, Yes, now I will do something completely different and you know me, I like to uh, uh, keep it varied and uh, maybe surprise someone now and then and you also know I, I like the, uh, you know, the, the old school, the old school sound uh, and uh, I'm going to play a song that I heard from a record I have back ho uh, at home uh, it's a German record called Hammond Dance Party, that is uh, Hammond Dance Party. And they made this beautiful, uh, beautiful recording of, of Nola, a song called Nola. I know Les Paul recorded it. I don't know the composer, but, but uh, and, uh, and here's the, like, the happy Hammond version of that song. And uh, so... Uh, I don't know if I would call it a, a, a play it at a dance party, but well, we can try. <laughs> Nola. Ah, Felix, Felix Arndt. Okay, thank you, Pascal. Uh, uh, Pascal Lanslot from uh, the Netherlands. Wow, we really have an international crowd. 
here today. I'm so glad I saw Mexico was flashing by in the chat as well. Uh, uh, wow, so glad. Uh, okay, so let's party. I thought I'd continue with one of my favorite, one, also one of the first song I heard, and one of like, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I usually don't, don't play it because I, I think it's uh, like the, my, my, uh, my friend and mentor, Pierre Sverd, uh, usually plays this song. So it's like kind of, uh, between us, it's like his song, so I don't want to play it too much. But uh, I, I want, I, I'll, I play this now as an, uh, like, the way when he played it uh, on that uh, first concert that I heard, uh, Blues for Jay, that I talked about in the beginning. So he played this song as well. And this is a, so, so that, this song that I'm gonna play now, it's, it's uh, one of the reasons I, I started playing the organ because I s thought it sounded so awesome. And it's a, a, a Kenny Barron song, Freddie Hubbard has recorded it, and it's called South Street Stroll. So, uh, Str South Street Stroll. Ah, and for Canada as well. Um, And it's ah, and it's so nice also that that uh, that uh, to have this uh, all the knowledge that you that you have that I don't. So uh, uh, so thanks thanks for the help with the composer, and you've helped me on a lot of other occasions as well. I like that. But here is South Street Stroll. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so that was uh, South Street Stroll, and I, I, <laughs> I saw someone uh, writing a, write, say that 10 times, and I'm, I'm not going to try that, because I will fail miserably. miserably. I, I will leave it that to, to an English speaker, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, also, okay, some, some time back I made a promise uh, that I would play... Uh, April in Paris, and I said I would do it in Paris. Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't say I would do it in Paris. Uh, I, w I, li I, I wouldn't mind. I said I wouldn't mind doing it, doing it in Paris, but I said I would do it in April. And seeing as this is the last Saturday in April, I have to play it today. So uh, why not? Uh, the well, Wild Bill Davis version, that was... Uh, uh, so you get mo you're, you're gonna get more of these uh, block chords now. Uh, gonna play some big band, big band organ. And this arrangement, the story, as I was told, so the the like the basic arrangement for for a April in Paris, uh, it, it was actually Wild Bill Davis. It was his arrangement on organ that that they recorded and. Uh, Someone and he was meant to be participating at the session, but for some reason he didn't. Uh, and I'm not sure on the details, but but uh, so anyway, the way I heard it, basis arrangement of of uh, April in Paris is actually an uh, originated in, from an organ uh, version. So uh, I uh, so I'll do that. Uh, uh, April in Paris. Thank you. 
One more time, one more time, one more time. Let's do it. Let's do it one more once. Okay, so uh, that was April in Paris, and I don't think uh, I don't know. I, re I don't remember who requested it, but I, I don't think he's uh, listening now. But uh, I hope he will see this at some point. <laughs> oh, we've got a viewer from Australia as well. As well, I think we got almost all uh, uh, all parts of the world covered now. So glad to hear that. Hello, Craig Hewitt. Okay, uh, so let's see. Oh, thank you, Martin. Martin McNeil. Um, yeah, just a couple of more songs. Maybe something more, uh, a little slower. I was uh, thinking of playing a, 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 a blues of some kind. And uh, so maybe let's do that. Uh, and I'll do uh, Please Send Me Someone to Love. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you so much. Uh, well, uh, regarding repertoire, uh, to reply to Martin, uh, well, uh, I mean, there, each stream is different, and, I, and I, I, aim to, I aim for it to be that way. Uh, it's nice to, to have uh, like, uh, different, uh, different themes, different directions, different, uh, uh, but... Uh, yeah, so I, I, I would say I, I, uh, I think it's all good, but 
I'm really glad you're enjoying today's stream. I hope you other are too. Uh, okay, not that much time left. I have one other of these uh, more uh, old, uh, old school songs that I wanted to play, so I think I'll do that. Uh, this is uh, also, maybe you can help me out with this one as well. Uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna play uh, Mr. Sandman. So it's, I know it's not time to sleep yet. Uh, it's, it's evening here in Sweden, but it's only almost seven o'clock. So, uh, uh, but uh, that's such a nice tune as well, I think. And also to be played uh, uh, on the organ. So if you know the composer of uh, Mr. Sandman, uh, please enlighten me. Uh, also, yeah, and I, I, uh, I saw that uh, one, of my, one of the neighbors, uh, um, oh, no, okay, yes. So ne some neighbors watching, uh, thank you for that. Uh, kul, uh, kul att ni gillar. Och Per också, roligt. Uh, okay, Mr. Sandman. Okay, but uh, I don't know. Back to the. I I like I really like this song. Yeah, I. Uh, but I thought I'd play some more uh, party, party music. So I heard the news. So we we've had. Uh, um, uh, there's been quite uh, like warm weather. Spring is coming. Summer is coming near. Uh, and I heard on the news. Uh, here that the, they're out of uh, barbecue, like I don't know what they call it, the, the actual thing you where you make barbecue, uh, like the the stove for making barbecue. 
is that the, I don't know what the word is, but anyway, you can't buy them in the store uh, anymore because they're out and it will take months until they get new ones. So uh, it's going to be hard for some people to barbecue this summer, I'm afraid. Uh, but not for us, because I'm going to be playing Hot Barbecue by Jack McDuff. So, uh, Hot Barbecue. And that will probably be the last song of the... That song of the hour, and then there might be an encore, who knows? Hot barbecue today. Barbecue. Hot barbecue. Hot barbecue today. Okay, had, hadn't really figured out how to, <laughs> how to do the microphone on that one, uh, as I don't have a stand nowadays. Uh, so, uh, yeah, okay, uh, that's kind of it for today's stream. I, I am very pleasantly surprised to see so many 
so many uh, uh, watchers through uh, all over the world. I uh, and uh, I hope you will come back. I certainly will, and uh, you are most welcome too. Uh, I haven't I haven't decided the theme yet yet for uh, next Saturday, but it's May first. It's the Workers' Day. But it's also the day after the International Jazz Day on uh, April 30th. And uh, usually, mm, usually, uh, so uh, usually April 30th is a special day in Sweden, especially in Uppsala, where I live. Uh, it's, it's uh, uh, a pagan tradition where you light fires. Uh, and it's usually one of the big party, biggest party days of the whole year. And usually there's hundred, hundreds of thousands of people gathering in this uh, city. Like the whole city becomes like a, a festival area. And it's mostly students, but it's nice to, like you can take part in just the, like be, you can take part in the party also when you're not a student. But of course, due to Corona, you can have uh, hundreds of thousands of people gathering. Uh, uh, so uh, there won't be any celebration of that uh, this year. So maybe we'll celebrate the International Jazz Day instead. I don't know. Uh, okay. And Toby writes May 14th, birthday. Okay. I'll remember, I'll write that, write that, uh, write that down. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you so much, uh, and uh, so hope to see you next week. Don't forget to tip, uh, much needed, much appreciated, and uh, um, and yeah, see you next week. I will, uh, I will boogie us out as. Uh, as uh, Toby usually says. And I think I'm going to be playing uh, a blues by Charles, Charles Erland. And this one is called the... Uh, uh, this one is called The Mighty Burner. So that'll be a nice way to boogie us out, I think. Mighty Burner, thanks for today.